Well, before I can talk about mules, I gotta talk about horses, and I always loved horses. When I was a kid, I wanted to live in the in the old west, you know. And uh, so, when I was 15 years old, I got my first horse. And in those days, uh, you know, it was just kind of kick and spur and, and hang on. And uh, then as I got older, you know, and, and then I get, got away from the horses for a while, I got married and had kids and all that, but I still wanted to be a cowboy. But I couldn't uh, rope and I didn't know anything about cattle, so I got interested in the packing deal. And they let me help out at a couple of the pack outfits here, and that's when I was first introduced to mules. And getting introduced to mules was kind of, kind of love at first sight, because uh, there was a lot of, lot of personality there. And of course, horses have personality too, but uh, but mules have, as you well know, being a mule man yourself, mules have a personality that kind of that kind of beats all. And then I was passing through here one time just because I used to backpack in the in the Sierras, and uh, I wanted to stop in Bishop, and I was told uh, well, you'll never get a hotel room up there because they have something called Mule Days. So. I camped in some local campground and wandered over and saw what they were doing with mules and I thought, boy, that's, that's for me. And, and I started coming to mule days and it wasn't before long that I invested in my first and so far only mule that I've been riding for, uh, for 18 years and his name is, is Jimmy. So, um, so that's, about, uh, that's about that part and then uh, you know, when I was uh, a kid, I always wanted to be, I always envied the guys. I, I had a horse out there in Burbank, which is right near the studios, and all the old Western stars from uh, those uh, Warner Brothers Presents, Westerns that they used to have, you know, The Lawman and uh, uh, Cheyenne and all those kind of stories, all those Western stars were riding around there. and. Uh, I, so I always thought, gosh, it would be so exciting to work in Western movies. I mean, I thought that would be just the, the greatest thing. You were sort of, you couldn't go back to that time in reality, which I now realize is probably a good thing. But uh, I thought as a, to be an actor in Western movies would be, would be really great. And to be an actor would be really great. And there I was living in Hollywood, you know, where all this was around. But my parents were very discouraging because all the people around them were, actors and small bit parts, you know. The, I'm getting into a long story here, but, but the half the Mexican bandits that you see in those movies from those days are all Russian immigrants, you know. So, uh, but what took off for me first was the writing. And even though I got paid to write some westerns, none of them ever got to the screen. So uh, now in my, in my old age, you know, I'm, I'm giving a, a try at the acting racket again. And I went out to uh, to do some writing in a couple of couple of westerns, and then for this one movie, I went out to do the, hoping to get a writing gig, and I didn't get a writing gig, but I got, I got chosen for the Lone Ranger movie to be the, the drunken sheriff, of the town, which is only a only a couple of scenes, and I'm completely unconscious in one of them, but uh, but it was a lot of fun, and if I get a chance to do something more of that, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a try too. Um, uh, I'll be turning 70 in. Uh, in another month, and so uh, it's time for a whole new career, you know. And that's about it, okay. the short version. <laughs>